This lesson is for schools who are using the Bridges in Mathematics program. Is this is a kindergarten lesson for the week of April 20th through the 24th. Lesson one, how many? The objective is to solve addition problems by using counting strategies to determine how many objects are in a set. We are going to be using 10 frames as our strategy to count how many all together. Think about it. Look at the picture as I read the story. My family built three robots this week. We want to make 10 robots in all. How many more robots do we need to build? You can use a counter with the 10 frames, or you can draw a picture of your robots in 10 frames. I'm going to use a counter to count how many robots we have. One robot, two robots, three robots. I know my family has three robots that we've built this week. How many more robots do I need to make 10 in all? Complete the 10 frame to figure out how many more we need to build. Now we're going to get into our lesson for today to figure out how to find an answer by counting how many using a 10 frame. We're going to solve addition problems and use the pictures to help us um, and use the 10 frame strategy. We're going to complete two examples together and then you're going to try some on your own. Today we're going to use 10 frames to count how many. We're going to be using the Math Learning Center and Bridges app number frames to help us. To use this, we need to be able to have a 10 frame. So we're going to find the rectangle in the left corner of the screen. And you'll notice that you can choose 10 for a 10 frame. Now I have a 10 frame on my piece of paper. We want to make our 10 frame look like what is on our bridges activity pack. We are going to be doing number one. It has frogs. So we need to find the frog counter. We're going to find the picture of the circle, the square, the butterfly, and the star. Click on it and you'll notice that we have the choice of a frog counter. We're going to choose the count frog counter and I'm going to choose green. We're going to have a green frog. Now we have to make our 10 frame look like what we have in our packet. I know that we have four frogs in the top row. and we have one frog in the bottom row. Our equation on our paper says 4 plus 1 equals something. We need to count to find out how many. We have a couple ways we can do this. We can count 4 and one more. 4 5. So I know 4 and 1 more is the same as 5. I can also move my frog from my second row, my bottom row, into my top row to fill the 5 frame across. So I have a full row of frogs. That's the same as 5. Okay. We're going to try another. We're going to look at the second example on our Bridges paper. I notice that there are butterflies. We're going to get our 10 frame again 
in the upper left hand corner. Notice I have a 10 frame now on my paper and then we're going to go to the bottom and choose our butterfly counter. So I'm just going to choose my butterfly and I'm going to make my butterfly blue in this case. You can choose whatever color you would like. Now I need to make my 10 frame look like the 10 frame on my paper. I notice that I have two butterflies and two more in the top row. And my middle space is missing. I also notice I have two butterflies and another butterfly at the very end and I have two spaces in the middle. So I want to make mine look like what's on my paper. Now I have to, to count how many butterflies I have all together to figure out how many. I want to write my equation on my paper so that you can see the equation as well. So I have the equation 4 plus 3 is equal to something. I see four butterflies here and I see three butterflies here. So I can count them to figure out how many. I can say four, five, six, seven. I have seven butterflies all together. I can also look at my 10 frame in another way. I'm going to clear my screen so that we can have another example using the butterflies. I'm going to get my 10 frame again and I'm going to use my butterfly counters to show how many we have just like what's on our paper. So we started out with four and three. Now my 10 frame on my screen looks the same as on my paper. I can think about moving a butterfly to fill this top row so it's easier to count. I can move my butterfly to the top and now I have a full row at the top. So I know I have five, six, seven. So I know that four plus three equals seven. This is another way to think about my butterflies on my 10 frame. Sometimes we want to fill the row at the top to help us figure out how many we have all together because it's easier to count. Now it's your turn to try. You're going to continue to do page one in your Bridges packet to count how many. This example has counters so you can choose the counters or pick another shape to count how many. I'm going to set this one up so you can see what it would look like. I know that there are three counters at the top and three counters at the bottom. So now my 10 frame looks like what's in my bridges packet. I also know that I have a total of six. This time I need to write my two parts that are missing. So what are my two add-ins? What two numbers am I adding together to get six? So we need to use our counters to figure out what's missing. I know that I have one set of counters and two sets of counters. So now it's your turn to figure out what two numbers we're adding together to get six and complete the remainder of the problems on your paper. Remember, you can use the Bridges app to help you figure out how many. 
Now it's your turn to complete the remaining of the problems on page one in your bridges packet. You'll notice that there are four problems for you to complete, one with counters, stars, ladybugs, and penguins. When you're finished with your try it, you are going to complete an assessment. That assessment is on page two in your bridges packet. For this assessment, you may use the pictures, you may use a 10 frame and counters, or you may use the number frame app on the Bridges site. Be sure to turn in your work when you're done. Have a great day.